So I've been on the biggest Nike Dunk buying binge over the last few months, and here is the result of yet another buy. So like these raw meat dunks that I have in the collection, I went ahead and sourced this quirky, weird looking dunk. So these are known as the Flamingo Dunks that dropped back in July of 2015 during the Teal Box era. A few sources online say that these dunks take inspiration after the legs of flamingos, while others claim them to be based on flamingo eggs. And excuse the wind noise, my windows are open and it's savagely windy today. But either way, you could certainly see both of those aspects imprinted on these dunks. Throughout the uppers is this crackled textured look in a leather material. The feel of it is literally what you'd expect. It's this weird cracked feel, I don't really know how else to describe it. It looks to be a base of brown leather with a bunch of white paint over it. I will say the white paint is on here pretty good, and there aren't any signs of chipping, even though it may seem like there is. And the leather itself is pretty soft. I'm not exactly sure if it's because they've been broken in or what have you, but these are listed as a premium, so the materials on here should be a step up from usual SB Dunks. Other complementary colors include Nike's Hyper Jade color, which is essentially just an aqua or a teal, and it can be found at the laces, the piping around the tongue, the inner liner, and the rubber outsole. The color of white is to be found at the extra set of laces, the white mesh tongue, and the rubber midsole. And speaking of the tongue though, you'll see a yellow tongue tag with a Nike SB in this flamingo pink color. And then where you get a full sense of these being tied to flamingos is through the graphic on the Zoom Air insoles. It's a shame obviously because they're not visible while wearing, but the overall detail is a nice touch. People tend to bug out in the comments occasionally when I don't mention sizing, so I'd recommend going to your true size. I mentioned earlier that the materials are somewhat flexible and break in nicely, so no need to really size up. Related to this pair is a pair of the Nike SB Janowskis, which take on the exact same makeup between the uppers and the insoles. Totally unrelated, but it's been a while since I've worn and owned a Janowski. Let me know if you remember when those things were super popular in the early 2010s. Getting back on track here, these dunks were released during a time when Nike SB was getting pretty quiet. I went back and watched a bunch of review videos of when these dropped back in 2015, and a lot of them mentioned that they were able to find them on sale. That makes sense, especially since these aren't the most memorable dunk, looking back on it. Personally, I think these flamingo dunks are one of those pairs that if you remember them from back in the day, then cool, maybe they're worth going back and grabbing. But then again, now in 2020, the renaissance of dunks has been driving a premium for recent release dunks at least. So having this one from five years ago is pretty unique. The overall weathered and aged look is super unique. To me, it bypasses the issue of actual leather shoes, say maybe my university red leather dunk lows, where they'll eventually crack years down the line, which is the unfortunate reality of leather sneakers when they age. These already have that wear from the factory, so in that sense, I'm really doing no harm by beating them up even more. I'd also say that these are definitely more of a summer dunk. The teal color reminds me of the tropical teal dunks that I recently picked up, as well as the Tiffany's that I literally just recently grabbed. And as far as wearability goes, I'd probably grab those two out of the stack before I reach for these flamingos. So I'm torn on whether I should keep these or just let them move. Really, I'm just waiting for Travis Scott to hopefully wear these and shoot the value up. up. I'm obviously kidding, but you really never know what that man's gonna wear nowadays. That's all I have for this video though. Let me know what you guys think of these flamingo dunks in the comments below. Is this a dunk you'd go out and wear? Or is this something that you'd pass on? Let me know what you think. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying content like this. Doing both those things really goes a long way in growing the channel, so it's definitely much appreciated. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at StuffDonLikes to keep up to date with what other random sneakers I've been picking up like this one. That's a wrap for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.